this is Dee with Loving Dee Naturally. I wanted to come in a quick video. I was here um, just taking down my hair and it was coming out so beautifully. I decided to just get on video and um, just talk about this. So the last probably hair video that you saw from me was my Diva Cut and at that time I was using products. When I did wash um, and redo my hair, I decided to, to do water only. So um, I put my hair in twist and I'll insert pictures here. And I stayed in twists for two weeks. Um, and these particular twists, I got a new kind of twisting technique tip from Karen Elisa. I'll put Karen's video at the bottom of how you can tw you twist your hair in the direction that your hair grows. Um, and your twists stay better like that. Which mine did. They stayed for two weeks without me retwisting. Um, after two weeks, I took them out because I was ready for my hair to be out. And um, I continued to rinse my hair. When I do water only on loose hair, I put my hair in sections um, and in twists still. They're larger twists. But um, that's the only way, or I'll say that's the best way for me to manage it. So this morning, I rinsed my hair and I put them in eight twists. These are the, these are the four. Okay, I had four over here. Uh, oh, first of all, my hair, my twists are not completely dry. I just keep my hair in twists to keep it organized and so it doesn't tangle back up once I detangle. So I pull my sebum down. I'll put my hair in twists. Wrapped it in a t-shirt towel and uh, let it air dry like this and once the ends were dry and the outside of the twists were dry I take it down separate it where it wants to separate and my hair has clumped my sebum has clumped my hair and where it clumps is where I separate okay so it's kind of you know connect it down here but I just separate them my hair is still slightly damp so I mean I don't know if you'd call this I'm just shaking this out in the back here I don't know if you call this a twist out I kind of call it almost like a wash and go and the reason I say that is because even though I put my hair in big twists it, it wasn't for my hair to take on the shape of the twist purpose of twisting was to keep my hair organized and together and to keep it less tangled but my hair still has the shape of my coils okay so these are my coils these are not my coils do not have the shape of the twist because that wasn't my aim if I would have let them dry all the way and twisted it tighter then they probably would have and then I would consider that a twist out so that one became unraveled, but it's because I messed with it. So let's see here. So the next section. Look at those clumps. Gorgeous, gorgeousness. I have, no, I have no product in my hair. This is, I've been doing water only for probably a, a month, maybe five weeks. My battery died. But anyway, thank God for second batteries. Okay, so back to clumpage okay this is no product in my hair and I continue to just rinse and really pull that sebum down from my scalp and from my roots this is what I have today now my hair did not feel nor look like this well yesterday I had it up but my hair did not feel and look this good to me two days ago when I had it out and I attribute that to I don't I, I don't think I have full coverage just yet because my ends don't feel like my roots I'll just say that so you just keep rinsing just keep rinsing keep massaging your scalp when you're doing water only um, yes your hair 
at, at, at some point probably is going to go through a period so you can decide where you want to separate my hair gets very fly away and thin up near the top so I try to keep it clumped in um, bigger clumps so they won't be looking crazy um, so you keep rinsing until you know you get the sebum coverage and um, the more you rinse the more sebum you produce based on my understanding of it and just based on my experience okay these to me are wash and go curls these are my curls these are not like I said these are not curls that have been in a twist and have taken on the shape of the twist um, I'm trying to be ginger with it and quick because the more you touch or the more I touch my hair while it's wet the more likelihood of frizz okay so part of my water rinsing I rinse the last part of my water rinsing I rinse in um, cold water and that closes the cuticle because I don't have any product in my hair to bring that cuticle closed and flat although I do have my hair is normal to low porosity but um, I do see a difference when I rinse in cold water. I have not even used apple cider vinegar on this go round of, I'll leave that like that, on this go round of water only. This is my water only, I mean, I don't know. I call it my water only wash and go. My curl definition is awesome. I'm loving it. My hair is soft and it is defined just like I like it. Another reason that I let it semi-dry in the twist is because the twist give me um, some elongation here at the roots. So my roots are laying kind of flat. I get some elongation and some stretch. The only thing for me, the one thing that I have not figured out on water only is how to preserve this because um, there's no gel. So whatever I do to it at night, it's going to not, it's, 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 it's not going to have the hold that I wanted to have to hold this. The only thing I have not tried on water only is a pineapple and I don't know why I haven't. So I'm going to try a pineapple tonight and then I'll see how it goes. Alright, so thank you for sharing in this with me and I will see you next video.